If you feel that you haven't been understood right and you get angry, there's always a place for a woman to get angry because if you don't, you just go right into grief. As a critic myself, of all things, this album was for the critics, whereas every other album was for myself. And even though that sounds kind of cringy, I think that that's okay. Because people talk about chronic over explainers, but the thing about it is that if you feel like you want to explain yourself over and over and over again, you have the right to do that until you feel like you've been seen. Because the way I see it is that the best gift someone can give you in your intimate circle is just to bear witness to your journey and your life. And I think if your life is public and you're a sensitive <laughs> writer, addict of all myriads of things, you want to explain yourself. And there's something else I want to mention as a chronic over explainer to some women out there. If you feel that you haven't been understood right and you get angry, there's always a place for a woman to get angry because if you don't you just go right into grief that's the way I see it anyways and it's awkward to be furious but there's there is space to be furious and of course in my album I'm not so much angry as I am explaining except in dealer where I am furious but I just want to say, it's okay to go out on a limb and look ridiculous just because you are angry. It's always worth it. Even, even if you feel like you're wrong, you're right. Because if it's right for you to say certain things, then that's just the way it is. And that translates way beyond being a singer. That just goes for being a regular person because people can be really tough on you to the point where you just think well why am I doing it but and the truth is I have a lot of other things I love to do and I'm gonna do and I don't intend on letting anybody you know anyone's opinion spoiling that one of the things I always thought was really interesting was I always felt like the least controversial person like in turtlenecks and all that and yet somehow Everything just seems so complicated. But what I've learned is that whether you're a singer or you know you're you know you're working in a flower shop or whatever it may be, we all have our own life path and we can all see our own patterns come up over and over and over again. And you know, only you know what your pattern is. And I tried in my album to kind of explain what my patterns have been and where they've come from. And I haven't so much explained where I want to go because I'm not sure if I can get there yet. But what I've learned is that when you follow your own life's path, you know, you you heal up to seven generations forward and in mentioning that i wanted to say that seeing this clip from the blue banisters live stream of last year has definitely given me a new perspective on how i should be viewing the blue banisters album and despite the fact that yes we know it was made for critics i feel like this part of the live stream delves deeper into why it was made for critics and how it has to do with Lana being able to tell her story, regardless of how many times people have heard it. You know, and why it's important that she gets to tell her story and no one else, so that people can have a better understanding of who she is as an artist and as a person and where she's going beyond this point, you know, with future projects. So what do you think of the clip? Leave your comment below.